Hi, this is Paula from ASMRHQ.com and in this video today I'm going to be doing a microphone test for the Soundman binaural microphones. Um, at the moment I'm talking through a Rode microphone um, while I go through the microphone, it's uh, the binaural microphone. So, but once we get it set up we'll be swapping over to the binaural mics so that you can hear the sounds but we'll let you know when that happens. Okay, as you can see in front of you, we have a dummy head and here is the microphone itself. So when you look at it, it really just looks like a set of earphones. So it's pretty simple really, but it's pretty powerful. So we have the red earbud here is for the right ear and the blue one is for the left ear and you can use this either in a dummy head like this or you could put them in your own ears and then attach it to a field recorder of some sort but I'll be going through that in a minute um, what we do normally first of all is we use the dummy head mostly and this is the guy here we call Fred the head and he is a sound man he came from the same company so he's a sound man dummy head and um, as you can see we have a hole on each side with the ears and that's where these microphones fit in so that was the right and there's the left and what we do is we put these in so blue the color always goes on the outside Pop that in there and the right ear like that. And these dummy heads are quite solid, quite heavy. Um, it's made out of a wood of some sort. The ears are really heavy and solid, so it's well made. And the dummy head is supposed to replicate a human head, so you get that um, binaural sound. And what we do now is we plug this into a recording device of some sort. So um, there, there's lots of different recording devices, but we use um, Zoom products. Um, at the moment we're using a Zoom R24, and I'll show you what that looks like. I'll just move the dummy head out of the way for a minute. can see here, try not to be too noisy, this is a Zoom R24 and what we do is we plug the microphones into the back here, into these XLR cables and to do that we use an adapter because if I get the microphone back again you'll see that that plug won't fit in the back of the Zoom uh, 24 so we have an adapter for that which I have here and this is an XLR adapter so we plug that into the opening there and then we plug the two connectors there into the back of the Zoom uh, 24 so that's one way, I'll just move that back now you can also use a Zoom H4N. A lot of ASMR artists use these because they are really excellent. This is it here. So if I just turn this on, get an idea of how it works. doesn't have a card in it at the moment but if it did it, um, we do put the card in the side, an SD card but what we do with the microphone is we plug it in to the back in here like that and we put these in our ears and we go out and we record sounds 
So all you do is press record there and it actually records the sounds with the headphones in your ears. You can also plug the microphones into here using the adapter. So you can fit in there. So this is a great little device. You, you don't need uh, the binaural microphones for this to work on its own. You can um, re just record in regular stereo. It's not a binaural on its own. You do need that microphone if you want binaural. But if you want to just record stereo sounds, it is an excellent, really excellent device for recording stereo sounds. So turn that off. And we'll bring the dummy head back. Okay. So what we're going to be doing now is we will attach all of this to the R24. The R24 actually attaches to our to a Mac computer or any computer really. Um, it has a USB cable and that's what you use to connect it to your computer to record the sounds. Although you can use the R24 on its own without a computer. Okay, so I think that's it. So um, what we'll do is we'll connect it up now and we'll show you what it's like with the binaural sounds panning from ear to ear and around the room. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, play a few sounds to test this out. So I'm going to start with my favourite sound ever. And it's this little... Uh, it's a little plastic ball that we bought at the $2 shop. You can see there it still has the $2 price tag. Okay, you can listen to the sounds. So, it's in the right here. Right in here. Here, right here. Around the back. So that's the sound nice and close, but if I bring it back away, bring it back in the room. See so that arm's length. And bring it back in closer. And the car ball in here has a good sound. can be quite loud so I just have to take it softly. Mm-hmm. 
wanders on the other side now and she's tapping on the cards while I'm actually flicking through, shuffling them.
Okay, that's given you an idea of what this microphone can do. Um, if you'd like to read more, we actually have done a review on our website. We'll put the link at the bottom of this video so you can go and take a look at that. And also um, it has another couple of um, sound tests we do and videos and that sort of thing. So thank you for listening and um, bye for now.